a todo lo que hace mi fe. Bless the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Just want to bless everyone, hallelujah. Those who are gathered here, those on Zoom, whoever will watch this video, when this, this service be a blessing to you in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. We're coming from Armor of Light Ministries on the island of Barbados, hallelujah. This time I'm going to ask our sister Audrey to pray God's blessing on tonight's service. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful privilege to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Father, today, we thank you for your Holy Spirit. Thank you. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We ask you tonight that you would have a knuckle with us again another time. As we all enter into your gates with thanksgiving yes. and your courts with praise, we thank you today for another time, another encounter with you. We thank you for your new mercies that is from everlasting to the everlasting. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your loving kindness. For your loving kindness is better than life. We honor you tonight and we exalt you. We magnify you tonight. We glorify you, God, because you are not a God that is created by human hands. True. You are not a God that is dependent upon any mortal man. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You are not a God in need of nothing that we can give, True. but by your plan, that's just the way it is. Amen. You are God alone, yes. all by yourself. Oh, yes, we enthrone you as King of Kings, and we enthrone you as Lord of Lords. Yes. You take the honor and the glory tonight as we come together tonight. We ask that, that you will unify us in the Spirit. Unify us with your Holy Spirit tonight. We thank you for a fresh covering of your Holy Ghost and fire. We cover our life. We cover this. We cover with the Holy Ghost and fire. We cover our families far, near, and wide with the Holy Ghost and fire. And we thank you tonight that you will dispatch your angels, even right now, to surround this property, God. Tonight we thank you for a fresh unction of your spirit, a fresh unction of your anointing, your Holy Ghost and, and your power living in us, God, tonight. We thank you for strengthening us. We thank you for guiding and directing us into the path of righteousness. For his name's sake, as we walk through the valleys of the shadows of death. Father, we will fear no evil, for you will be with us, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort us. Thou was prepared a table before us tonight. In the presence of our enemies, there was anoint of our heads with oil, and our cup for the goodness and mercy yes. shall follow us all oh. the days of our life, that we will dwell in the house of the Lord. Father, tonight we give you the service tonight, and we ask that you take control, run it to your honor, and run it to your glory, with thanksgiving, in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Dancing the shackles free.
lesson is taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 7 to 13. And I'm reading from the NIV. But not everyone possesses this knowledge. Some people are still so accustomed to idols that when they eat sacrificial food, they think of it as having been sacrificed to a god. And since their conscience is weak, it is defiled. But food does not bring us near to God. We are no worse if we do not eat and no better if we do. Be careful, however, that the exercise of your rights does not become a stumbling block to the weak. For if someone with a weak conscience sees you with all your knowledge eating in an idol's temple, would that person be emboldened to eat what is sacrificed to idols? So this weak brother or sister for whom Christ died is destroyed by your knowledge. When you sin against them in this way and wound their weak conscience, you sin against Christ. Therefore, if what I eat causes my brother or sister to fall into sin, I will never eat meat again so that I will not cause them to fall. Here ends the lesson for this evening. Praise be to God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Our pastors are ministering song. May God bless them. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless them. Bless them. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory be to God. We bless you. We bless you in Jesus' name. Once like a bird in
me free. Hallelujah. He set us free. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. May Jesus to see. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for setting us free. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. This time we're going to have the word of God. And we pray that God will bless his servants. Hallelujah. Our elder George, as God uses him tonight. Amen. The Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, I am there sitting and giving God thanks for freedom. Now, what I want all of us to do, we push past and get here. So, God, God, get the glory. Can we glorify? Amen. Praise the Lord. Then you're committed, boy. But when you're in the prison, you know, some people lock up now and ain't got anything. They go at six o'clock, they go going. And what we got here now? Be free. So, why should God get the glory? Amen. 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 Have a seat, man. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Free. Who the sun set free. Amen. Amen. Could you remember you're going back a little bit here? Well, long before, but when slavery was abolished. It's a long time ago. Slavery, people were slaves. Bought, had to work, and you know, wherever they had them, different plantations or whatever. And when they heard that they was going to be free, and that time came, sometimes some people can't even move from the position that they were in. For they, they couldn't believe that they were free. For all the years they were bound up. And you know, we have. We have a, a, a statue up there, somebody in the round about when you see this one. Break the chains, so up. Break the chains. But his chain still pretty high, you know? Chain still pretty high. The chain is going away. The chain still pretty high. And there's some people who have a parallel. And I, I, I could see why now I had to see it as it is. You have a parallel and you've got all of these weight by your neck. You know, they look pretty flat. Look real pretty. Catch the eye. But let me tell you something. That's only the outward appearance. But you see inside? Oh my God, man. You want freedom in there. You know, you look good on the outside, but you want freedom in there, man. Then when you break the chains in there, there was a song we sang, mom, and them just sang it there. When you got the prison, you lock your own self lock up. This ever, ever happened? You got your own self lock up. And you got the key, the key there, you throw away the key and everything, you lock up in your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So lock up in your mind, you know, the things that got you bound and you lock up. And you looking, you looking for the, the key. The key is Christ. I've been there, I can raise my hand. Because it's only for Christ. It's only for Christ that I have been saved. Hallelujah! That I can say who the sun set free. Free indeed. Praise the Lord. Amen. I am free. Here we are going to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. The word is freedom. It's up there. So what does biblical freedom mean? Question. The freedom God offers throughout scripture is freedom from enslaving power of sin in our life. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. The freedom God offers Throughout scripture is freedom from enslaving power of sin in our life. The enemy uses sin to obstruct our relationship with God, keeping us from experiencing abundant life in God. Whoa. Whoa. You can't want it better than that. That is sermon itself, right? We can end it off now because you mean when you look at that, that says it all. But you're gonna to come to the reality. It don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. It just don't happen like that. No, no. It happens now when you start to surrender. Yes. There was a part of Daisy there's no born again. They wanted the songs. Mm -hmm. Born again. 
you think born again is only talk. It got it processed. It got its process to go through. Born in the spirit. Amen. And a big man who had a lot of thinking. Oh, oh you're born again. The Lord had explained to you. You go back to your mother's womb? No, man. Let me tell you, you're born in the spirit. And that's where we are falling down. We are not operating in the spirit. We had blinded, spiritually blinded, and they had spirit powered self control. You hear why again? Spirit powered. If the Holy Spirit or when the Holy Spirit in you, you are not being getting no there. So, to God be the glory. The lesson, as you can see, is from 1 Corinthians, and it was read already. But when we go through it, there's verses 10 to 13. I think you will have the note there coming up. It says, Christian freedom does not mean that anything goes. <laughs> let me just take it yes. and let it digest yes. in our spirit because mm. I lock some things. <clears throat> Go over your head and blam and it done and it gone through one there, come up through the next and just another word, but we don't want that. We want to understand what freedom really is. Yes. Yes. And who has given us that freedom. That's right. It means that our salvation is not determined by good deeds no. or legalistic rules, but by the free gift of God. Praise God. You have the scriptures there. Christian freedom then is inseparably tied to Christian responsibility. Amen. 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 New believers are often very sensitive to what is right or wrong. Amen. What they should or should not do. Some actions may be perfectly alright for us to do. Yeah. But may harm a Christian brother or sister who is still young in the faith right. and learning what the Christian life is all about. That is true. Amen. 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 Should be less important to us than strengthening the faith of a brother or sister in Christ. Amen. Amen. Mighty Amen. Lord. Amen. So you see how important, how critical it is for us yes. in our living. Yes. Let me tell you something. It is one thing to come here and to bring it out and yes, Lord. But then our lifestyle yes, 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 yes. is the utmost importance. Amen. Exactly. So Amen. then you can see how you cause people to stumble. Yeah. And people watching you and from the time they see you doing, but that is all. But, but, but look at Elder George doing it, so it, it can't be a problem. <laughs> can't be a problem. Well, the George doing it, so I believe he's an elder or he's a father or whatever. Well, how you see it? Yes. But then you cause that person to stumble, cause them to see things from your way of looking at it. Because Amen. when they see you doing it, they're looking at how you're That's seeing right. the Christian yeah. faith. Yeah. But I want us to be very careful because I tell you again, I remember, and I said this before, and it come back to me. I had even in Paul and my son running and I shift. I shift. And my son said, boy, my father going in the different direction. I guy too. And he shift with me. And lose the race. Because you see me shift. You see what we can do. We are watched. We are watched. The whole. And the slightest, you know, it's straight and that front time you do some bang. Yeah. And people, you ain't getting some means you don't even get them. But he or she should know better and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, and I, 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 I was watching them every six and they didn't know that. They didn't know that. Yeah. And 
all of that goes through an individual's mind yes. because of what they see. Mm -hmm. So we have to be extremely careful. Example. example. Yes. Absolutely, mommy. There. By our example. Amen. And I'll tell you something. This is one of the things that I'm really praying for, especially when I'm seeing young couples getting married now. <clears throat> Some of them are looking for examples in the wrong places. That's right. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And, and that is a that is not an opinion, that's a fact. Amen. But when you are set examples before you, and you know that what you are seeing, they're following Christ, it makes a difference. Yes, sir. I am saying that not because I can say it, but I'm saying it because examples were and still is before me Amen. and thank god for that Amen. because it helps me or it has helped me for where i am and i believe it will continue to help me in my going forward Amen. Amen. coupled with you have to get into the word of god Amen. Yes. and as much as the examples are there the word of god i heard the lord use the instrument say and say, the word of God is the prophecy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me ahead, man. Get it right. The prophecy is from the word of God. Not that you ain't got an instrument. But then you start to read the word of God for yourself. And he opens up your understanding. He allows you the knowledge. He gives you the freedom yes. to, 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 to think. And to, your whole concept starts to change. Amen. You become confident. You see yes. things from God's perspective, mm -hmm. not mine. No. And you start walking a different walk. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. You start talking a different talk. Yes. 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 So your whole life now is changing. And that is very critical Amen. today as leaders. We all are leaders in some form or the other. Amen. We all are leaders and we must be examples for Christ. Amen. Who is the ultimate leader in our life. To set us where he wants us to go. Amen. Freedom found in obeying God. Yes. Yes. You know you can say obeying God, boy, but... Sometimes it come up and you disobey. You want to hear that part though, but you disobey God. But for the love of God, and I'm saying this because I know I have erred. And we have all erred. But for the love of God, I get freedom then. Because... If he didn't love me, I don't think I would be here. No. I don't think so. I really don't think so. So you ask yourself, although you do that, and the love of Christ, then you come into an alignment. Yes. You get back into alignment. You can fall, you can stumble, but you've got to be there to get back up. Some brother or sister who yes. walk in with you can help you too. Yes. Yes. And lift you up and put you back in the straight and narrow path. Yes. Yes. You can fall, but when you've got brothers and sisters yes. in your family yes. and they tell you we walk in the same walk and talk in the same talk, Amen. we can get put back in the straight and narrow path. Yes. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. We look here at Genesis 3 5 for the man. For God knows that when you eat from when you eat from it, your eyes will be open. Yes. Yes. And you will be like knowing good and evil. You see the deception? You will be like God. Oh, Fall for it, man. You're in a match ball. No. The enemy. We're going to match when we start walking in spirit. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Right. We in a match. There's a lot of people in understand who we dealing with here. Mm. The enemy. But when we got Christ, when we walk it in the spirit. Yes. The, the thing about that that you really like is is, is you put your step mm -hmm. ahead of the enemy. You know, Christ is forewarned. 
through a warrior. He's getting the dream you can get, you know. But when he forewarns you, that's when you know you're stabbing it ahead of the enemy. He yeah. come and he said, boy, Lord, I thank you for showing me. That's where you walk in the spirit. Right? You can't do, can do that in your flesh. You can't do that in your flesh. Adam and Eve got what they wanted. What they wanted. And is it intimate? I believe. Right. An intimate knowledge of both good and evil. But they got it by doing evil yes. and the results were disastrous yes. sometimes we have the illusion that freedom is doing anything we want yes. true <laughs> okay say that again yes. sometimes we have the illusion that freedom is doing anything we want yes. i can do it like the boy can't tell me nothing Hey, hey. I am a man or a woman and yes. blah blah blah. And let me tell you something. I remember I remember saying this a very early stage of my spiritual walk and letting leader know my let me tell you something. I my own man. I mentioned that. Hey. But then when you start to understand what your old man would yes, be, yes. or how you have a perception of how a man would be, hmm. then you had to find yourself That's saying, right. Yo, Your perception yes. is right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because wearing the long pants and going on a shirt and some beard in your face, mm. you used to feel that you're the man. But it goes beyond that. Yes. Responsibilities in life. But anyhow, mm. that's another. Sometimes we have the illusion that, right. Highlighted, but God says that the true freedom comes from obedience Amen. Amen. and knowing Amen. what not to do. Amen. But God says that true freedom comes from obedience yes. and knowing not Amen. and knowing what not to do. Amen. You hear who say? Yes. God says it. Yes. When God says it, it's God be the way it is. It's God the truth. Yeah. That's right. When you then are walking according to how you should walk, you say it's God you say, and you know it's God, so you're going to be obedient. You should be. Let me put it like that. You should be. Because some of you know it's God and still don't do what you say. So, but anyhow, it, it, too, it says the restrictions he gives us are for our good. Right. Helping us avoid evil. We have the freedom to walk yes. in front. Oh dear. We have the freedom to walk in front of a speeding car. But we yes. don't need to be hit to realize it would be foolish to do so. Yes. 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 We have the freedom to walk. A speeding car, but we don't need to hit if we realize. Lord, we, we are sometimes, in my humble opinion, we shouldn't be the way we are. No. We shouldn't be foolish. We should understand who we are really serving. Yes. And whose we are. So many things that we could avoid. Yes. So many things that yes. we could avoid. Yes. So but because of our own idiosyncrasies and then you're walking in this flesh and you think within myself, well, this is how I believe it should be. Mm. Yes. And then it leaves you at a disadvantage because like some God says, go right ahead. Yes. Yes. Go along then. Yes. I tell you one thing, you won't do another. Yes. Go along. And then may you butt up on the consequences. Mm. Yes. Oh my Lord. Mm. Then you look back and you say, well, and God is going to be telling you about, I tell you so. He doesn't know it can be sure. Yeah, he doesn't know. Yes. But that is where his love coming. Amen. Amen. I've done so many foolish things, but I tell you something. I, I, I got to be so thankful and so grateful. Even today, yeah, from the, the thunder and the lightning and da da da. Some people in certain parts of the, of the, of the world. 
doing hair tending or lightning and right. doing getting the rain and and sometimes we hear giving us and we complaining and blah 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 but I tell you something Lord help me move me out of my foolish thinking and my way of operating and bring me into a place where you you would have me to be. Amen. You do not have to do evil to gain more experience yes. and learn more about life. Hey. My Lord. Hey. <laughs> you do not have to do evil yes. to gain more experience and learn more about life. True. True. But you would know. Yeah. I did out there. Yeah. And I felt that what I was doing was right. Yeah. I was living in sin. But it didn't look like sin to me. Mm. At that time. Yeah. But I come in now to the body of Christ. Amen. And thank God for wise counselors. Thank God for putting me on the straight and narrow path. Yes. Operating through the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You get to know a lot of that now. But mm. there you first come in all of that sometimes. Like, what is going on? Mm. You give you a partner. Yes. And you say, Lord, I thank you. But mm. then you didn't fully understand what partner was about. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. But then as you're going to go through the process, yes. then yes. you start process. to process. cut off the baggage here and get rid of some of the old ways. And because you had yourself in prison. Mm. Yes. That's what we're talking about. You're in prison. You got the own key and mm -hmm. one give you got the key to let go, you know, to open the prison door, but you lock up your mind. Oh, so you don't know where to turn. But then mm -hmm. you say, Lord, I've come to the end of myself. I've come to the end of myself. Mm -hmm. I surrender. And then you know that when you start walking straight on my path, your mind opens up. Amen. Your thinking becomes straight. Yes. And you change your whole concept of outlook. Hallelujah. But I thank God. Now let me go. I'm I'm buried. That's buried. Let me go. Let me go up and bury my father. That I will return. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Right. Genesis 55. My father made me swear and off and said, I am about to die. Mm. Bury me in the tomb I dug for myself in the land of Canaan. Now let me go and bury my father that I will return. This is Joseph when he went to bury his father. But he was trustworthy. Look at it, Joseph had proven himself trustworthy as Pharaoh's advisor yes. because of his good record. Right. Pharaoh had little doubt that he will return to Egypt as promised after bearing his father in Canaan. Privilege and freedom also result when we have demonstrated our trustworthiness. So true. So true. So true. Privileges and freedom. Since trust must be built gradually. Over time, take every opportunity to prove your reliability, mm. even in minor yes. matters. Yes. My Lord, yes. 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 Lord, Jesus. Yes. Amy, I know it is you that have had me to prepare this. Amen. Because I remember just to back up here a bit, and the Lord knows on Mother Graves to bring these songs to night, a Sunday morning, and then another. I think of Wednesday or whatever. But then that song started and praise the Lord, I'm free. Mm -hmm. Within me, I felt so much of freedom. Amen. I was in, I started to dance in the that spirit. And the man of God took a, a photo of it. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that. Yes. Mm -hmm. But I wasn't dancing. I started to dance in the spirit because I was free. Amen. It, it was not just for a song and blah blah blah. You were dancing because of the freedom where God has brought you from and where He's put you now. Hallelujah! You know when you were slaves, they had me a slave. They had me a slave. Uh, MC used to make me run to the left and to the right, down Spring Garden and blah blah blah. And I ain't gonna go no further. 
we call in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Carry a different route. You know, we're dancing in the spirit. I did dance in but I knew that it was the spirit of the Lord because you were free. You're breaking the chains. You're breaking the chains of bondage. You're coming out. Uh, hallelujah. You're coming out. You're coming out. You step out. Step out. Brought you out to the Mary clay and set your feet on a rock to stay. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, broke the bonds from around your mind. Oh, so when you're free yourself, when you're free, you ain't got to you you can raise your hand. Anytime I say hallelujah. Glory to God. Freedom in Jesus. Freedom. Freedom, Lord. I thank you. I can stand up here one time and do this, but only God, only God or the Almighty that you can stand. And having done all, stand. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Finding freedom from sin. Leviticus 26. Reward for obedience. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt so that you would be no longer be slaves to Egyptians. You know we come out of Egypt, but we got a lot of Egyptian ways. Yes. So you're still in free. Be careful. Be careful. Still got a lot of Egyptian ways. You come out of the world, but sometimes our behavior still says a lot. So we got a lot where to go. I got a lot. You might not be saying you, but I got a lot where to go still. As being led of by the Holy Spirit, so that you would no longer be slaves, I brought the bars Hallelujah. of your yoke Amen. and enabled to walk heads held high. Now you're bearing sin, you can't yes. even look up. Right. Too much weight. Mm. And that's the same thing with the apparel. Got a lot of weight. It looked but it got your weight down. Yes, yes, you know, it yes. looked beautiful on the outside, but on the inside, mm -hmm. you're in trouble. All kinds of things going through you. But that is only look pretty. And people get captivated by that. But then you come and allow the Holy Spirit now to clean you. Some of you, like, you can't even now put a ring on my hand. Up on my, you can't even like, put a chair around me. I feel you now like I'm I, I in bondage. Yeah. I don't know about you, don't get me wrong. I'm telling you how I feel. Right, thank you. It's very difficult because you know where you were. Those things one thing would have caught the eye, but I got, got the ring on and here, two rings and a, and a bracelet. And I dab her. I, I, I look, I look, I look. Yes, <laughs> I look. But when I drop off right there, it's a big, when it drop off, then you don't look the way you should look no more, according to the words we have taken. Yes. Yes. Anyhow, imagine the joy of a slave set free. I said that earlier. God took the children of Israel out of bitter slavery and gave them freedom and dignity. We too are set free when we accept Christ's payment. That redeems us from Amen. sin slavery. Amen. That's right. Amen. We too are set free yes. when we accept Christ's payment. Amen. That redeems us Amen. from sin slavery. Amen. Accepting Christ's payment. He paid it all. Calvary. All, all, all. Somebody would talk about, you know, some of you looking at payment is money, boy. Payment mm. is, I mean, for, but when you get payment, payment is like, it was said earlier, the price was paid. Mm. Yes. Yes. Bought with a price. Yes. 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 The other day, I, I, I said, I was saying something, I think it's one of my children. And there was something that we were discussing. We had a very good discussion very deep discussion and it came to a stage I said to one of my sons 
As we were out on a tour, we went on a tour here recently, and my son came with me. I'm going somewhere with it. And that son was up front sitting like a navigator with me. One time that would not have been. So we were going around the island and blah, blah. And it was, we started to have a very good discussion. And I was saying to him, you know, one time we go in the buses, man, and go up the hill and the stick and thing bone. And these buses, these men could drive well and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he said, that's true, that He said, yes, that's true. As opposed to now you've got automatic and you can fly over the hill and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sometimes if people got so many things in the bus, you feel it, you run back. Yes. So we went, we went through a little, little discussion. But I'm coming to the point. And I said to him, you do not know how much this has done for me today. How much what? How much this has done his presence. His presence. Sorry if you didn't hear me. His presence of being there. And I said to him, they could not pay me no amount of money for what I'm having now. It is invaluable. But that just ain't happen. Okay? That happened with you of yourself because some of us are in a position now we're looking at everybody should change except you. Uh -huh. yes. <laughs> yes. 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 But the problem is with you and with everybody else. Yes. Yes. And I remember some of you might remember that same son came up here and said I hate my father. Yes. Straight in front. I can say yes. He came up and he said it. Yes. But he had all rights because when you are not in place as a head and you can't come in and say he said you know something wrong with you daddy you can't even come in and say somebody do something good and you can't even give him a compliment mm -hmm. those things went in mm -hmm. yeah. they went in trust me but then after now to see how God worked and he's Amen. still working Amen. he's still working yes you're still working. Amen. But when you have that person outside you sitting down navigating, my son and navigating like that you want water, that you want this, and they say, Boy, I thank you. Amen. I do not take no credit for that. Amen. Only God. Yes. So when you break the bars of prison yes. and break them yes. and understand why they're broken, yes. you said, Hallelujah! I'm set free. Amen. And for that whole tour, mm. for that whole day, mm. I saw things that I would have never seen that would have been four between here and there. So, you break the bars. Yes. And I want to enjoy it now. Amen. But waiting later to hear the, you know, effort to know effort to know that's why we got to try and get closer yeah. to our children now yeah, right. as men as leaders yeah. as priests yeah. Yeah. we have the support yes but we have to be the ones now who are there stepping to the plate yeah. amen because that conversation came between here and there it wasn't nobody else the sister was in the back but it was between here and there and i knew that he felt the difference Amen. I knew that. Amen. Because you see a change. Yes. Let me tell you something. I can say this. Fingers point at one at the ramp and one at the face. You know. See yes. yes. Fingers point at one at the other door. And it was only God mercy that I went to further fight them and break out. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then you, when you realize what God do, yes. when you realize what God do, see it from all of that. Self control, yes. spirit power, self control. Hey. You're the blind because it ain't spirit, your eyes ain't spiritually open. Yeah. You're operating in your flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And the enemies yeah. have got you now. Yeah. 
But God said that ain't true. You don't got my son. You don't got my son. I can pull it back from the break. Yes. Amen. 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 So when you're saying I'm free, when you're saying I'm free, I know what you're saying. You will got to know. Or we will got to know what you are saying. My experience and yours. But I'm just telling you, when you talk about the price, you can't pay me nothing. No, you can give me, you can tell me, give me a check and left it blank. I will get back. Yes. Yes. I will give it by check. Yes. You only talking. I will give you it back. Mm -hmm. What has transpired? No money can buy it. Oh my lord, Lord. You got my guy now this line. I thank you. We no longer need to be bogged down in shame over our past sins. No. We can walk with dignity. Because God has forgiven us Jesus. and forgotten them. Amen. Amen. Can we give God some praise? But you know, I, I trust that we really, because I hear people say you forgive, but you don't forget. <laughs> no, I heard that. I heard that coming up as being a young convert. And that's why I tell you, it started again by if we don't be careful of how we say or do things, we can make younger come yes, yes, See that? Amen. So I heard that. I asked you, sir, but you, know, you can forgive, but don't forget. But that way you're understanding here. When we walk with dignity because God has forgiven us and forgotten them, the God in this year forget for me. So if you want to still hold on, that is up to you or me. That's right. But he has forgiven us. Amen. So when we Jesus. forgive, we go and forget. Yes. Don't yes. go and dig up the past. Yes. Jesus. Lord, don't let me don't go and dig up the past. Yes. Some of us got this thing that yes. you're going, you, you might go a little thing and it, it, it yes. slip and then you're going to bring something that, yes. that ain't need to be bringing mm. and you upset the whole of a character right. because you ain't let go. That's That's right. But God, Hallelujah! Amen. When you're set free and saved, Amen. you're doing, you see, you see this here? Let go of this because the enemy wants to yeah. get for all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give God the glory. Amen. But Amen. just as the Israelites were still in danger of returning to a slave mentality, don't move from there. But just as the Israelites were still in danger of returning to a slave mentality. True. Mental. Mm. Jesus. Mental. Jesus. And that mental is very serious. Yes. When the enemy gets your money, oh, yes. I'm telling you, when the enemy gets your money, only take Jesus. God yes. to yes. release you from it. Yes. Yes. I went to a stage of where. It was carrying me to insomnia. Mm. Insomnia, that is that. Lack of sleep. Mm. You're studying, you're worrying. Yes. You study these things that mean you get a, you start to cat nap. As soon as you see your eyes open, your brain take it over like you can't mm. switch off. Mm. Mm. Can't switch off. You switch, all you, you press the switch, and it's still on. Mm. Morning come. And you, I was still looking up at him. You're worrying. But you went through that. The only body that bring you out. Because insomnia, insomnia is a thing that will kill you. You know, you can't sleep. You want to sleep and you can't sleep. But only God. Break the bars in your mind. So you see, you, you, you lock up yourself. Get on lock. But you know you're young convert and obviously you don't get released so the enemy just don't tell you, go long to God. Go long to God. Boy, you tell the stumbling blocks. But he can only go such such far as so far. I didn't know that day. But I know it now. Because I know it it, it it nearly caused me or it caused me on numerous occasions. 
to select. See this here? I like how we be far better back. Which I did, then this here, because I really didn't expect it to be this way. Mm. Yeah. But you see what the expectations could do now? Yes. True. Yes. True. Let go of that and let go of Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We need to be aware of the temptation of returning to our former sinful patterns. Yes. Yes. We need to be, we need to be aware. Beware. Beware. Beware of the temptation of the returning to our former sinful patterns. You have to be conscious in your spirit. Because consciousness. consciousness, correct. In the spirit. Because don't let nobody fool you. Sometimes this is what I have. Mm. Yes. And you would hear the old man one right. Mm. Because of what you are experiencing, something that mm. could have been said, that yes. should have not have been said. And you would think, well, I, 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 I let go of that. Mm. But then you always hear there will be trials and temptations. That's right. And Jesus said, I did not yield. You do not yield to them. No. They would come. Yes. But you would not yield to them. Mm. So what do I do? I let go. I let go and let God. Amen. 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 I let go yes. and let God. Amen. The monkey got his hand in the jar and he won't take out the nuts. But his hand cannot come out if he don't release the nuts. But he wants the nuts. So he can remain there all the time. So you can remain in sin if you don't let go. Yes. and let God. Amen. Amen. I believe up to the day he's not still in the jar. <laughs> mm. oh my my Lord. Hmm? Well, <laughs> up, up to he's dead and sinful we are dead. But we dead now. We dead toward the sin. We dead to sin. Say that again. Some people are to be you that what tell you? Because you didn't want to let go. He didn't want to let go of the nuts. He want the nuts. Mm -hmm. But the hand in the jar, the only way the hand could come out is if you release them. So you tell some people, you speak to them, and you show them the sin got you. But you don't want to let go. I love the way I live in. But if you love the way, go ahead. I can't do no more. I cannot do no more for you. And then whatever transpires, you don't like it, but you can't because I release you, mm -hmm. I release myself, and I left it to the Almighty God. Amen. 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 Enough said on that. Amen. Salvation is freedom from sin and death. Yes. You got the scriptures there. Mm -hmm. Praise be to the Lord. To God our Savior, who daily bears our burdens. Our God is a God who saves. From the sovereign Lord comes escape from death. Surely, God will crush the heads of his enemies. The hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. God sets his people free and crushes his enemies. Salvation is freedom from sin and death. Yeah. Yeah. Those who refuse to turn to God will be crushed by sin. See? Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Those who refuse to turn to God will be crushed by sin and death. Yeah. They will be trapped. By the sin they love. Mm -hmm. yes. And destroyed by the death they fear. Hey, hey, How much better it will be for those who love God. And fear the consequences of sin. Mm -hmm. 
you're trapped. Yes. If you're trapped or when you're trapped, and you come to a stage of your life, as I said earlier, the prodigal son finally did a trap. It was no more way to go. I mm -hmm. lost everything. I lost everything. I lost everything. What more do I do? My understanding, I was trapped. I'm talking about me personally. Yeah. I was trapped before. Seriously trapped, but you can tell me that I was trapped. <laughs> you can convince yeah. me that I was trapped. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I am all right. Mm -hmm. And in looking, man, let me tell you something. If you go and do what I tell you, you are dead, you know. Mm -hmm. But I am not seeing it from that point of view. Because I am not, my, blind. I blame. Yes. Yes. Spiritually blame. Yes. So you can't convince me enough now That's that I'm walking in my flesh. Oh, so my flesh now is, is worn out. <laughs> that a war now. We fighting now. You can't tell me that. You can't tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> Till I had an encounter with the master. Till I went out outside for my party door and said, Lord, I give up. I go around like a Ferris wheel and I land in the same place. <laughs> Coming back to the middle. Yes, yes. I am going nowhere. I'm fast. Yes. So, give me a new direction. Yes. <laughs> and he did. And I know I had some who were still waiting for me. I can see you back here when they got Cahobla Pot. Cahobla Pot then, and then, and then, and then, and they got other things out. I, I don't know if some are still waiting. But it ain't, be, it ain't for me. It is only God. Amen. Amen. Some pushing up daisies. So when you decide, when you decide and you make the effort, mm. because you gotta put in effort. That's right. That's right. This ain't just this ain't just gonna happen, Mom, automatically, you know. No. You gotta put in effort. Yes. You gotta part the play. Yes. But I I think some of you believe that God is God. Do all. So, 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 we ain't going to have to do no but God, they can sit down here now, and you can just change me. Yeah, yeah. But he paid the price, right? You're talking to me. Let me, he paid, right? But I ain't got nothing more to do now. I get though. Everything would be good. I, I, I come into the house, and I ain't got nothing to do one more now. I could sit down and say, hallelujah. And then, then, you ain't making a change now from inside. And you slip back out. You still mix up. Thank you. Because it ain't changed. Mm -hmm. From the inside. Yeah, to show the change. To show that you have truly. When the boy can tell you or me. You could. A Saturday night. Listening to all the goalies. In one of them. Um, dance. Houses. And they dance a whole night. A whole night. A whole night. With a partner. You ain't stopping. You're not stopping. You're going home and you're looking for the next weekend to come. So you were very, you know, passionate about that. So why know that you get free and you can't be passionate for the things of God? You're still trapped. Still trapped. Huh? Yes. Still trapped. Yes. Boom, dead. Wait, but dear, thank you, sister. Thank you, Still trapped. Jesus. But some of you feel that you know I ain't gonna be outside here to be trapped. You're fooling yourself. Yes. You're up on the wall. Yes. The Lord is showing me this here. They read the word. You up on the wall. Yes. You're up on the wall sitting down. Yes. Serious place to be here. And you are sitting down on the wall. You either for God or you for the devil. You can't be in between. So you're trapped. So go and make up your mind. Because if you're here, 
So we can do. Don't do like the monkey, keep holding the nuts. Let go, you either go hot or cold. Be careful how we are on top of the wall. Come off the wall. You will get picked off. <laughs> Anyhow, God, you know. I thank you. No further. Why sin doesn't offer freedom? Whoa, look at that. Why sin doesn't offer freedom? My sins have been bound into a yoke. By his hands they were woven together. They have been hung on my neck. And the Lord has sat my strength. He has given me into the hands of those I cannot withstand. At first, sin seems to offer freedom. But the liberty to do anything we want gradually becomes a desire to do everything. True. True. To do anything. But you see where it's headed? To do everything though. According to your everything. Excuse me. Everything. Then we become captive to sin. Bound by your freedom from sin. Captivity comes only from God. God. Freedom from sin, captivity comes only from God. Nobody else. Nobody else. Nobody else can free you and me. But they don't know you are going to be serving something else. They don't know you are going to know you're serving. He gives us freedom not to do anything we want, but to do what He knows is best for us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. He knows best for us. You want to make a sport, Lord boy. You 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 know best for me. Yes, yes. I I see the bigger picture. Amen. Because down the road later on, you can't see the future. No. You can't see the future. I can see everything. I can see now what can happen later and and and, and later on. That's right. Amen. So you can let me guide you, or you want to go and guide yourself. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. Then that's how the sin got you take over. Strange as it may seem, true freedom comes from obeying God, following His guidance, so that we can receive His best. His best. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. So that we can do what? Receive His best. Sometimes I don't think we want God's best. Sometimes I think so. Let me put it like this. Sometimes I don't think so. When you see, words... And they're powerful. We think sometimes, I read it somewhere, we think that there's a story book, right, that we read it all. You know when you got a story book and people write a book? Mm. This, this real, this is inspired words. These, yes. When we see these words, the real, this is the mock sport, the best. But sometimes, you know, it's got me in between here, the waiting yes. to receive the best. Yes. Mm. Yes. That, you would know them. The waiting, man. But I got the best for you, you know. <laughs> but I want to see how you can respond. Mm. But I free you, though, not to do as you like or I do as I like. I free you, though, for my plan and my purpose for your life. Amen. Amen. So that you now would be walking where you want you to walk. Yes. Amen. Amen. You are set free, though. Amen. You are set free. Amen. You are set free. Thank you, Jesus. You are set free, Lord. Hallelujah. The enemy would like to bomb up you, but you are set free. 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 Jesus' truth set us free. Jesus what? True. 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 <laughs> One time it was asked, who got the truth? <laughs> I remember that was asked. Pretty right, though. Who got the truth? I say here, yeah, Jesus' truth sets us free. Amen. Jesus speaks about God's true children. Yes. Speaks about God's true children. Mm -hmm. Then you will know the truth. Are you hearing right letters? Yes. 
and the truth will set you free. And who the sun set free? Are we sure? A trail will come. Trust me. A trail will come. So I tell you, ready, ready, work up Sunday. As soon as they get home, as soon as they land in the house, a trail come. And I got to say, I spirit. I, I want help me with it. I. It's whatever it was, spirit power, right? Self control. I had to repeat it. As soon as I step inside, in the house, am I right now? I had to. It came back. So when we say certain things, then we be careful, cause the, the yeah, trust me, trust me. It can come in a trial, and then we get know if we really free. Jesus himself is the truth that set us free. Mm -hmm. You got there, John. He is the source of truth. Yes. The perfect standard of what is right. Mm -hmm. He frees us from continued slavery to sin. Boy, you, you know, you know, you know, he's a slave to sin. You walk in boat. You don't know. You walk in boat. And wherever you are led to go, you guide you. I gang here. Father said, come, George. I gone. Come. I gone. We going down. I gone. And you like you, you know you can't say no. Exactly, that's a good word. Cast a no. Caught you by your you know. Hello. Hello. You got your tire. So then after you get the stairs, that's why you tell you you're going around a circle and you're landing back the same way. Because all you're doing, all you're doing. But you are so engraved and bound up. And you don't know. My God. So when you get freedom and you tell me that it didn't call for all of that. When they come into the house of the Lord and they put in my hand and they dance in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit take over, and you tell me, ain't call for all of that. Excuse me! Step aside! I'm sorry! Because I know where I was. To where I am now. And it's only true, Holy Ghost. The Lord set me free. So if you can't praise Him, I'm sorry. Praise the Lord! I am free! Hallelujah. So you were going to know if you're still in bondage. If you're still holding up on the nuts. Yeah. The monkey. The monkey. The monkey. The monkey. The monkey holding up on the nuts. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Grace. Thank you, Mother Grace. <laughs> he frees us. Am I there? Yeah. Am I there? He frees us from continuously every to say from self-deception and from deception by Satan. Yes. That happened yes. in the beginning. Yes. Deception, yes. brethren, deception is at a very high level today. Yes. Very, very, very high level. Yes. And sometimes who you don't think. Yes. 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 Under your nose. Yes. Mm -hmm. Under your nose, yes. it only takes the Holy Spirit of God. Yes. That's why I was reading Proverbs. I could remember Mother Grace when first coming to the sanctuary. You all young ones should read Proverbs. Mom, mom used to emphasize that on a very regular basis. So I asked the Lord the other day, so Lord, you tell me now, what book you think I should look at? Because sometimes, you know, and I hear it quite clearly within my spirit. Go to Proverbs. Oh, <laughs> you know, mom come back to me. That's why I said that. When you start to read the word, especially Proverbs and Ecclesiastes, oh my God. This is practical lifestyle. Yes. Instructions. Yes. A man who went through, <laughs> corns everything. 
Okay. He had it all. And the mistake he made is to take years off his master. Jesus. So he lose it. Because he the free, a man put himself back in bondage. Yes. Because you know bondage had you know, he do everything. He start to to me back in that says, excuse me. He went down for the flesh. Everything. Everything. Got captivated. <laughs> the point I am making here is that if we do not or when we do not, when we do not allow the word of God and spending time in the word of God, you might not have all the time, but you got to spend some, you should, right. let me put it like that, you should. I can only speak of that now, you should. And you start to read and God start to open up your understanding. Make you more conscious mm. in your spirit. And you seeing things now that you were not seeing before. That's right. Mm. And you're saying, whoa, mm. that was me. Yes. Mm. Yeah, that was you. Mm -hmm. But only know that you come and get in alignment. Yes. Yes. You come and reconcile back to me. Mm. Then and only then. So they understand freedom. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because if we didn't do that, I would back in sin. Mm -hmm. Sinning and it looked good. You can imagine it. Sin dangling in front of you and me and it looked good. It looked good. But that's the reality is it looked good. You can't tell me that it's different by dangling. I want you to step over the fence. Hey, hey. I can give you everything. You can have the stars and the moon. Mm -hmm. I give you everything. I want you to come over in things. Mm -hmm. And when I get here over the flag, mm -hmm. got bite. Mm -hmm. And with that bite, you know, they got some snakes. You could got the dot in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Then they put the venom in your bone. Mm -hmm. Gone. It only take Christ then yes. to pull you out yes. with the with the saint spring. Yes, right. Huh? Because when you hold on to the altar and God mm -hmm. you hold on to the altar and God said these people really mean business here. You know, I, 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 but you decide to give up. Oh, I beg in as I beg myself. I give up and I'm seeing the difference. I am asking us to give up. Yes. Let go yes. and let God. Amen. Thus, Jesus doesn't give us freedom. To, I read that already. What? I read he, that already. He shows us clearly. Where am I? In, in right. He shows us clearly the way to eternal life. You hear to where? Yeah. Eternal life. Eternity, yes. I want that eternity. I want to spend eternity. I believe you do. Mm -hmm. But you ain't getting there just by saying eternity. No. Not at all. Work to work for it. Excuse me? Say that again. Have to work. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to work. I like where you are. You know, there's lots of people who don't like to go work. <laughs> they like where they are. Mm -hmm. And that is no pun intended, but I'm speaking in terms of people don't want to work. In the in the kingdom of God, you have got to work. Huh? You mean when you're Christ? But when you you tell me they enjoy when <laughs> let me tell you something. You go, I go, I go and do this now, and then go on there to think, and they, and you there mumbling and grumbling. But when you come now and you change, and you start to say, I am free. The work that you don't even know it then. You go along home and you don't know it. Then. Yeah. Huh? You committed to Christ and you don't even know. Some of these circumstances ain't looking right and you say, he's a madman or she's a madman. <laughs> and then, then you see the bigger picture those who are all up and unfold. 
because you have been set free from their insanity. Insane, Thus, Jesus doesn't give us freedom to do what we want, but freedom to follow God. As we seek to serve God, Jesus' perfect truth, what kind of truth? Perfect. Frees us to be all that God made us to be. Amen. Much more for this. You know, there's more, but you come to a stage where you give God thanks. Amen. You know, you come to that stage. Yeah. And you just go and know to win. You know, you cut out too. You go, no, the fridge is great to you when it's cut out. The fridge don't cut out. The fridge don't cut out. So I want to give God thanks tonight for his wonderful opportunity, his grace, his mercies, and his love towards all of us here. Amen. Thank God for the effort yes. that we have all made. Amen. And I was telling the leader earlier, we have passed this road so many times. You ask yes. where you're going. Mm -hmm. Wednesday night, Wednesday night, we ain't turned the light in. And look at the night. Amen. Who would believe Amen. that everywhere I fall on the hot thunder? Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. But thank God that we pushed past it. Amen. We made it. Yes. We've heard the word of God. Amen. Thank him for it. Can we praise him? Amen. Can we give him glory? Amen. Can we give him the honor? Amen. He deserves the glory. Amen. We acknowledge him for who he is. Amen. Not for what he can do, but for who he is. Amen. And I am giving him all the glory. And the glory. To you persons who are in Zoom, who is in this tape far away, we said something would have been said mm. that would have stirred you up. Oh, yeah. And you would have been asking God, what is freedom? Christ is freedom. Amen. To you be the honor and to you be the glory. We thank God for his word tonight. Yes, Lord. And I pray that those who might come through to watch this video will truly understand what freedom is in Christ. Amen. True. Amen. Because we live in a world that seems to want to captivate us with all different things. But at the end, it's only destruction. True. Okay. And the only one we can trust Jesus. is Jesus Amen. Christ, Amen. the Son of the living God. Amen. So I bless you tonight. Bless you. I give God all glory and honor and praise for what he has done and what he's doing yes, in the midst of us. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. So for the video, we just want to close out. May the grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the full love of God and the fellowship of his Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. For prayer and counsel in your walk with God, please email us at armoroflightbarbados at gmail.com. Thank you and may God bless you.